Christina from RM Podcast FL here. Sorry, I'm playing a little bit Martin Garrett, which is one of my favorite DJs. So I want to stop by here a little bit. Number one, I want to thank you guys for tuning in to RM Podcast FL. We're 36 countries. Whoop, whoop. But also, I wanted to actually talk to you guys about something. We're in Florida, and as of right now, it's like 78 degrees as of January. So I ran into this conversation yesterday with somebody um, in the coffee shop and she was complaining how, how like hot it is and she wants some winter and everything and I like she like her whole mood was affected by it so I was like well you know just you know that's uncontrollable so try to control the controllables and just kind of you know let it go just enjoy the weather because people up north would love to have weather because people up north would love to have a weather like this right so then it got me thinking about the controllables and non-controllables, something that I do a lot myself to just kind of keep myself on track. So I want to share that with you guys. So there's two things in life. There's things that happen in your life that are controllables and uncontrollables. Things that are controllables is something that you have power to, that you can change it, you can fix it, you can make it better, you can make it worse. Um, such as uh, running out of gas, you know, just like fill up your tank or it's raining outside, you grab an umbrella or it's hot outside, don't wear layers, like things like that. But also uncontrollables would be like, it's hot, you cannot control it, but try to fix what you can control or something happens at work and it's completely out of your control. So you just try to do something to maybe manage your mood a little bit better so it doesn't let it doesn't affect you as much. And uh, let's say you got into a huge fight with somebody at work or somebody from family. Can you control it? Yeah, go ahead and have a conversation. Talk to them. Uh, stop letting it get into you and actually bother you. And it's, it's mind-blowing how I see people that actually let things that they cannot control frustrate them the most. Like the weather. Like what somebody said. What somebody percepted of them. Or what somebody did. Or things that are fully out of the control. Like, it, the only thing... So, something that I want to clarify. The only thing that you can control is your actions, okay? You cannot control your partner's actions. You cannot control your boss's actions. You cannot control your neighbor's action, your friend's action. Nobody. The only person that you can control is yourself. So, if you allow somebody's action to actually affect you, no. That's a big no-no. Because that's out of your control that's uncontrollable if you can do something to help them improve their actions later on down the road go for it be my guest go for it help them but don't get frustrated for for things that you just simply cannot control because it's just going to frustrate you it's going to ruin your mood it's going to it's going to start a headache so just screw it if you cannot control something, just let it go. I know it's not easy. You learn it eventually. But everything that happens in your life, what I'm trying to say is that everything that happens in your life, try to see it as, can I control this or can I not control this? If I can control this, what can I do to fix this? If I cannot control this, like just let it go. So everything that happens today, you guys, I want you to kind of split it, controllables and uncontrollables. So if you can control something, go ahead and control it, make it better. If you cannot control something, just let it go. Let it go. F it. Let it go. Because it's just going to bother you. And it's just going to annoy you. When that energy, you can invest it towards something different. So yeah, that's what I do. But don't forget to tune in every Tuesday on Podcast FL on any major podcast platforms. Bye, guys.